There are many charities throughout the world helping literally millions of people every day. But in San Diego County, there is one organization that is organized, funded, and operated entirely by people who work here, county employees. And all the money goes to local nonprofits who make a difference in the community. Here's Dominic Fulgoni. If you see this van driving one of San Diego's freeways with this bright smile gracing the sides, you're seeing something special. Emilio was my wife's and I only child, and like most parents, he was the center of our universe. And um, he was diagnosed shortly before his third birthday. So any parent, when they hear that word cancer, you just completely um, don't know what to do. Sadly, Emilio died after a three-year battle with the disease, but the struggle became an inspiration for his parents, who started the Emilio Nares Foundation to assist other parents dealing with their own children's cancer treatment. One of their services is the Ride with Emilio program, which stemmed from an alarming statistic at Children's Hospital regarding missed appointments. They were missing an average of four a day. The Ride with Emilio program offers free rides to parents who lack the means for private transportation to the hospital. One of our first families um, lived in Fallbrook, but at the very, very end of Fallbrook, almost in Temecula, before we picked her up, her normal time to get to the hospital was four hours. And uh, she would leave Fallbrook at four in the morning to come to the center of Fallbrook to catch a 4.30 bus to come to Oceanside to come to the train station, to come to another bus. So she took almost four and a half hours to get here each way. And her little boy had uh, a brain tumor at that time. So it was a nine hour trip, a full day. And some days he would get chemo, some days he wouldn't feel well, but they had to take the bus four, four and a half hours back. So they were just thrilled to have our program. Now it's a little over an hour each way, to and from directly to the house. Armando Cambros has been a driver for two years and drives to all corners of the county to pick up patients. Today, it's a mother and daughter from San Ysidro. We have two vans and they average about 12 to maybe 13 miles per gallon. So when he goes to the gas station, it's uh, a shocking figure. <laughs> and that's where another organization stepped in to help. We pay for gas for the two vans to take the child with cancer and the parent to appointments. Um, their um, data found that missed appointments were huge because taking public transportation to appointments with a sick child is very difficult. So SECO stepped in and was able to provide some funding to help these children get to their appointments so they can get the care they need. SECO is the San Diego County Employees Charitable Organization. Started in 1956, it's been providing grants to local organizations for over 50 years. SECO gets its funding through the voluntary donations of our employees who are generous to give. We have people that contribute a wide range of money. We will take whatever, $2 is minimum, but we have people who are very generous and donate a lot more to SECO. It has helped tremendously with our operating fuel costs. Each year, last summer, we really took a big hit with the rising cost of gas and every year the fuel goes up so this has been a blessing for us to continue our program and ensure that we have money for fuel to keep the van on the road. Last year we funded 89 or more organizations in the community, big, small, ones you've heard of, ones you haven't heard of and you have a group of volunteers that are reviewing applications, learning what these people are doing in the community and they all make a huge difference to what happens. Bill Johnson is one of many county employees who volunteer their time to sit in committees such as this one. And being an all-volunteer organization, SECO has virtually no operating costs. Let's take a look at this one. You know, SECO is really unique in that 100 percent of the donations go directly to the community. And donations go toward a myriad of uses, from dental equipment for children's clinics to food for low-income seniors. It really sends a message out to the community. Um, SECO has a real meaning to all these organizations because they know it's county employees' charitable organization, and they know that county employees have their own special way to provide funding in our own special way to the community, and each time uh, you see uh, recognition in a newsletter that goes out to their members and their organizations. It's just sending a message out to the community that county employees care about their community. 
to apply for a grant from SECO or just to learn about how SECO is helping in the community, just go to our website, ctn.org. I'm Michael Russo.